square feet of manufacturing space. Coming up on Newswatch 12, our own Christopher Bouchon will have more. Marty Matthews is the executive vice president of AirPro Fans and Blower. He said the opportunity of a new location came from a previous vendor that was looking to sell their property. And uh, wondered if we wanted the property, and it's uh, it's a property that's going to work really well for us. So uh, we were able to work a deal with him and um, and acquire this spot that will let us build a whole lot more. While this is now the fourth building AirPro owns, Matthew said it will have many benefits for the company. It's got uh, about 20,000 square feet right now that uh, we can move in and uh, start doing some fabricating, probably do some storage there right now. Along with growing the facilities of AirPro, Matthew said this new opportunity will allow for more job positions. As the business dictates, it'll definitely give us the, the opportunity to grow and uh, increase uh, in a whole lot of ways, but especially in the number of people that we employ. The new building is almost ready for moving. Matthew said they are working on getting electrical and infrastructure ready to go. We hope to be moving in like the first quarter of next year, moving some of the work cells over there and having people actually start reporting there and working there. After 22 years of growing the business, Matthew is just thankful to stay local in Rhinelander. We, we love being in Rhinelander. Uh, we love the folks here and the, the workforce that we have is second to none. So uh, we're excited about this, this opportunity to grow our business and, and stay in Rhinelander. Reporting in Rhinelander, Christopher Bouchon, Newswatch 12. With the fall season comes the roar of thousands of motorcycles in Wisconsin. Coming up after the break, we'll tell you how the Tomahawk community is preparing for the annual fall ride. That's after Weather with Chase right here on Newswatch 12. Huge live auction September 15th. John Deere backhoe, snowmobile, tractor, zero turn mower, home contents, sporty goods, tools, and more. Colonel Renee Brass and St. Louis Auctions. Take it away, boys. Bidenomics is working. working. It's working. not. ABC News proved it with charts. It was under control on inflation. The administration. Well below Gas. three dollars a gallon. Thirty-five and housing in home prices, folks. Even CNN admits it. When it comes to the economy, groceries were less expensive. Housing was more affordable when Donald Trump was president. Yet Harris still says Bidenomics is working. No, it isn't. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Right now, we're running our 60-60-60 sale. So when you purchase your new concrete coating, you get a $60 Visa gift card, plus either 60% off installation or 60-month no-interest financing. This is one of our best deals of the year. So visit our website or call the number for your new floor today. Welcome to Land Lakes, Serenity at the top of Wisconsin. Stay with us at the Gateway Lodge in Land Lakes. Relax in our indoor pool, delicious dinners, and the coziest lounge in town. Come back to tradition at the historical Gateway Lodge. In today's economy, it seems the value of a dollar continues to shrink, while the services offered are getting less and less. Here at Maher Water Corporation, a new high-efficiency system made by WaterCare can help ease the stress on your checkbook. We are always available to analyze and recommend one of these units. So while we can't actually make your money grow, we can make the value of what you get from Maher seem like it. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. I was 27 years old, and the doctor told me I have MS. You quickly realize what's the most important things in life, family, friendships, love, helping other people. It makes you much more empathetic and compassionate to those that are struggling and suffering. I want to achieve my goals and dreams, but I, I want to take my resources and save as many children as I possibly could. We are honored to be recognized by our peers as top-rated personal injury attorneys. You will never be asked to pay out of your pocket. Let us represent you because the right results matter most. Welcome back, everybody. We had a warm day out there today, but with clear skies and calm winds, once again, we are going to have quite a chilly night. Already seeing those clear skies right now with temperatures in the upper 50s here in Ryland right now at 59 degrees. Got dew points right around 57, so that humidity is up there, but the temperatures are a little bit cool enough where it should be still pretty comfortable. We see that pressure right now above that 30-inch mark, so definitely got some high, uh, high pressure in the area. For highs today, 82 degrees here in Ryland in many areas across the Northwoods as well. We're in those low 80s. Look at Iron Mountain, though, 87. 
87 degrees for their high, so they were nice and toasty over there. We saw 85 up in Ashland, all the way in the northern part of the state. So still had some very hot temperatures out there for today. And saw a lot of those mid-80s down south as well. We see Stevens Point at 84 and Wapaka at 86 degrees for their high. Going into tonight, we got those mostly clear skies and calm winds, so we will see those lows drop down to the low to mid-50s, showing 54 for Ryland, but should be right around 52 degrees for us. We will see a few more degrees cooler with those clear skies and calm winds, and we can see that throughout the center of the Northwoods as well. Looks like our cool spot's going to be where it was hottest today by Iron Mountain. That's where those cool temperatures could be into the upper 40s possibly, and then we'll see some low to mid-50s stretching down to the southern parts of the state for tonight. Continuing on into tomorrow, it's going to be another warm day, but we will be, uh, we'll have a little bit of help with some cloud cover out there. Highs right around 80 degrees, but that uh, those clouds should kind of block the sun, make it a little bit more comfortable for us. And we'll see similar temperatures all across the state in the upper 70s to low 80s, even down into the southern viewing area. For our temperature trend, we're going to see above average temperatures throughout the rest of the week, though we're going to be right around 80 degrees throughout this whole week. We will drop it to these upper 70s Saturday and Sunday. We do have more clouds and a few showers that are going to kind of help cool us off back into those low 80s, though, Monday and Tuesday, and right around 80 degrees still for Wednesday and Thursday. So we're right around 80 degrees throughout this whole week. It seems like that heat, it does not want to go away. Same thing with the humidity. We're still going to be dealing with some humidity going into Saturday and Sunday. Dew points getting close to those mid-60s, so it's going to feel pretty sticky out there, especially on Sunday, and that's going to stick around into Monday as well. It does look like by Tuesday, that's when we'll have some clear skies again and calm nights to bring those dew points back down to the low 50s, making us a little bit more comfortable at night by then. And take a look at that future forecast. We do have some clouds coming in for us tomorrow and during the afternoon, right around 2 o'clock. Looks like around the whole state, we'll have some nice clouds kind of blocking the sun out there for us, making it a little bit more comfortable. And then going into Saturday, there's going to be a lot of energy on the western side of the state. That's where we see some thunderstorms develop for us here in our viewing area. Just a few passing showers that we can see right around 5 o'clock on Saturday. So most of us will stay dry, but there could be a chance for a few sprinkles here and there. So nothing too much to really worry about. And that could carry on into Sunday as well. We were dealing with a lot of wildfire smoke today. We did see a drop in air quality for many areas across the state. And as we go into tomorrow, it's going to get better. We're going to see some clouds kind of make their way in and push that smoke a little bit more to the northeast. And as we continue on throughout Friday night, we're going to see a lot better uh, clearing for us. And then there's still some wildfire smoke off to the west. So going into Sunday and Monday, could definitely still see some more uh, wildfire smoke making its way into the area. For us tonight, though, mostly clear and hazy out there. We're going to have some fog late around those early morning hours. So be careful driving to work. Low around 52 degrees for tonight with some calm winds out there as well. And for tomorrow, we're going to have increasing clouds throughout the day. Still going to be warm, though, high near 80 degrees with a breeze as well from the southeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, we got a chance for us a few thunderstorms Saturday and some rain Sunday. But other than that, the uh, beginning of the work week looks great with lots of sunshine and temperatures back in the low 80s. Jake? Thanks, Chase. Speaking of showers, northern Wisconsin saw a lot of rain this summer, too much for many of our farmers. One potato farmer said the wet weather made for a challenging season. Eigel Farms is about 70 acres just north of Anago, an area that saw eight more inches of precipitation than normal so far this year. Owner Thomas Eigel said the, all the rain made for a lot of weeds, which is a problem for Eigel since it's an organic farm and they don't spray herbicides. He also said he lost 5% of his crop due to plants being washed out from heavy rain and flooding. Eigel Farms is planning to harvest next week. And Thomas said he's hoping for a little moisture to soften up the ground, but not too much so that it's muddy. A struggling economy in Europe is having leaders there look across the ocean for answers. The European Commission tapped a top banker to diagnose Europe's economic problems, and one year later he returned with over 300 pages of findings and proposals designed to help reboot the continent's economy, making the argument that European nations should emulate the United States as they, the United States as they seek to jumpstart growth. The report details how a third of Europe's billion-dollar startup companies this century have left, many of them coming here to the United States and that recent legislation like the Inflation Reduction Act and the Chips and Science Act have incentivized more jobs in the U.S. and Europe hasn't adjusted. Leather jackets, helmets, and of course motorcycles. You'll be seeing a lot of them in Tomahawk this weekend. And that's because the Northwoods Fall Ride is back. And as our own Austin Carisu reports, the Northwood Fall Ride is in its 43rd year and brings motorcycle enthusiasts from around the state and country to enjoy different events, activities, and celebrations. He spoke with one of them to learn more on why people should attend this year. 
come down because it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of people and it's a good time. The Northwoods Fall Ride begins Thursday and will go through Sunday in Tomahawk. Last year's event brought roughly 35,000 bikers to the area. Attendees can expect VFW rides, bonfire and brat by, demo rides, live music, and on Friday, the popular Thunder Parade. The Thunder Parade brings a lot of people in. That happens uh, Friday night. Uh, they line up at 5, they head out at 6, and they get downtown around 7 o'clock. And then once everybody parks downtown, they close downtown. And many people come to attend a special sneak peek of the Harley plants in Tomahawk. We have two in Tomahawk, and they are both open for tours this weekend only throughout the year. So that's a big reason, a big draw for people to come down. Lau also says that the event helps to benefit the local economies in the area. Fall Ride, from an economic standpoint, helps our region, but it also helps 50 to 70 miles around it, surrounding us. We have, I mean, with 35,000 bikers coming to town, where are we going to put them? We're, we're a town of 3,000 people. So Merrill, Rhinelander, we all benefit from this event from multiple standpoints. There will also be a raffle for a brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide. And despite if you are a rider or not, there's something for everyone to do. This is one of the best events we've we have in the area, not just because of the size, but because the people are here to relax. They're here to enjoy their time. And there are some staples. It's been going on for 43 years. That was Newswatch 12's Austin Carisu reporting. A big time conference rivalry game happened in boys soccer. Coming up on Newswatch 12, Drew Chelly will be here to tell us if it was the T-Birds or the Hodags who came out on top. Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge Labor Day sale at Slumberland Furniture. Hurry, it's the final days. Just $3.95 to shake up your living room with a fresh new look. Get this power recliner for a steal. An upholster bed in two colors. Or a super padded family-friendly reclining sectional. And of course, totally free doorstep shipping with no minimum. Up to 60% off at the huge Labor Day sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. The liberal elite in Washington are running one of their own here in Wisconsin. A political insider who worked to elect liberals in California even supported a dark money group focused on defunding the police. Her name, Rebecca Cook, political operative bankrolled by the liberal elite. They handpicked her to help win back the House, trusted to elect liberal heroes like Mandela Barnes. They trust her because Rebecca Cook is one of them. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hard-working EV with more range than any competitor. And the potential to take you anywhere. It's Chevy truck season. Get 1.9% financing, plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Visit WisconsinChevyDealers.com. Coming up on Newswatch 12 today, we'll have another edition of Homeward Bound with Catkins Animal Rescue. Always sounds like fun. We're dry Friday, but some precipitation chances on the way. More will tune in on your Friday from 5 to 7 a.m. One of the biggest rivalries in the Northwoods, Lakeland Union and Rhinelander in boys soccer. The T-Birds and the Hodags have squared off on the soccer pitch to decide the conference. And with playoff implications multiple times over the past few years, now they're squaring off again with the T-Birds hosting the first matchup between the two teams this season. So let's see if it would be Lakeland Union defending their home field, or could Rhinelander come steal one on the road? Let's start this game in the first half. Lakeland Union on the attack. Brett Peterson crosses it over to Marshall Holmquist, who shoots it. But it is saved, and the stop is made for Ryan Lander to keep it scoreless after the first 40. Let's go to the second half. 
42nd minute, Dominic Carinelia with a penalty kick. He puts it in the back of the net to break the nil-nil tie, and the birds are up. Later in the half, Hiranelia has it again. He's getting the ball on a give-and-go from Lincoln Friedley. Dom goes through everyone and fires a shot, a rope into the back of the net for a goal. Lakeland Union goes on to win this one, three to nothing. The Tomahawk Hatchets welcomed in Ashland tonight in a non-conference volleyball matchup. The Hatchets came into the night with a 6-8 record, fresh off of a 3-0 sweep over Crandon on Tuesday. Ashland came into the night looking to grab their first win of 2024. One of the crowd support for the Hatchets in their home gym for this one. We start this match in the first set. Shelby Borowski is going to set the outside, and Avery Petta is going to fire away. She comes away with the kill. Couple points later, watch the touch here by Borowski on the second ball. She's just going to dump this one right over the net for a kill and another point for the Hatchets. Now the defense. Tomahawk going to keep the ball up in the air, and Alicia Vormans is going to put away the Hatchet kill. Now on set point in the first set, and the Hatchets, after a lengthy rally, are going to put away the point. They would go on to win set one, and they would be victorious in this one. They sweep Ashland three sets to zero. Let's take a look at some of the other volleyball scores from around the area tonight. Lakeland Union went on the road and came away with a 3-1 to one win over D.C. Everest. Pacelli took on Assumption. They came away with a 2 nothing win at home. Rounding out the slate was Crandon, who played host to Elko. And it was the Cardinals who came away in a tight four-setter. They won it 3-1. to one. The Rhinelander swim team is back in the pool this fall. The girls are looking to defend their Division II state championship from a year ago. The Hodags are in the home pool as they played host to Ladysmith. It was an impressive performance for the Hodags at home as they came away with a 130-37 to win in the meet. Some of the Hodag victories in the meet was Vivian Lamers here in the 50-yard freestyle, which she swam in just under 26 seconds. Emma Hogue. One in the 200-yard individual medley. Ella Heck had the top time in the 100-yard breaststroke. And Elise Yonker took home the top spot in the 100-yard butterfly on the night. There was also some tennis action going on at Ryan Lander High School. The Hodags were on their home court as they welcomed in the Loggers of Phillips in a non-conference match. Things went well in this one for the Hodags as they were victorious in all four singles matches and all three doubles matches as they came away with a 7-0 victory. The Hodags will be on the courts over the next two days when they head down to Wausau for the Wausau West Invitational. And another tennis score from the area, Lakeland Union hosting Anago in a GNC match. The T-Birds swept this thing seven matches to zero with all of those matches being won in straight sets showcasing a solid season for the Lakeland Union girls. The T-Birds look to keep the ball rolling on Friday when they're also going to be at the Wausau West Invitational. Anago will be there as well. We'll be right back after the break. Why take the hit buying this 2024 Cummins when you can save 15 grand on this used 2024? If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Go now to LensTruck.com. That's LensTruck.com. This is my grandma Kim. She has a lot to say about Eric Hovday. Mr. Fancy, California banker, said he'd absolutely cut Social Security and raise the retirement age. Hovde suggested that most seniors shouldn't vote. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. In Wisconsin, we have a word for guys like him. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. Everyone deserves the fastest, most reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. That's why Spectrum offers the fastest speeds in more neighborhoods than any other provider. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month. Call 1-833-376-4999. With Spectrum Internet, you can power all of your devices to enjoy streaming, video chatting, and gaming. I rely on Spectrum Internet. You should, too. Call now. Phones were made to help us connect, yet somehow they've made us less connected. Which is ironic, don't you think? We try to put our phones down, but we need to pick them up to see the menu. We can't watch something without also watching something else. Ironic. 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 
But look, here's a phone company who wants you to use your phone less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with us mode. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Traffic jam. Ugh. And I'm already late. Birchfield Nurseries of Rhinelander has been servicing northern Wisconsin since 1950. Birchfield Nurseries grows all of their own plants, and you will always find healthy, hearty, and well-maintained plants. Let their experienced staff answer any of your landscaping questions. They also handle shredded bark mulch, compost, and topsoil. For all your lawn care needs, they carry sod, premium gas seed, and lawn fertilizer. Consider one of the professional landscape crews to do the work for you. If you want experience with quality, call Birchfield Nurseries. Why take the hit buying this 2024 Cummins when you can save 15 grand on this used 2024? If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Go now to LensTruck.com. That's LensTruck.com. And welcome back. A central Wisconsin insurance company is making a major move. Century Insurance in Stevens Point is set to acquire the general firm American Family Insurance. The company is hoping to complete the purchase by the end of the year for a total of $1.7 billion. General employees will join the company on January 1st of next year. They will remain headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee. Six UW-Madison students are without a home and most of their belongings after a fire ripped through their house Wednesday morning. They were all sleeping on the second floor of the house when they heard loud noises coming from downstairs. Shane and Najun reports. I immediately just said, hey Siri, call 911. This is the moment early Wednesday morning when Lolly Walsh made a life-saving knock on her neighbor's door. I glance over at my window and all of a sudden all I see is just like orange. You know, my, my blinds are closed, but the whole thing was lit up. We all woke up to different things. Just before 5 a.m., the six roommates were sleeping when Nina Davidovich and Olivia Abel heard commotion coming from downstairs. At first we're like, okay, who's making food? Like, quiet down. That's when Davidovich left her room and saw the flames. Everyone started screaming, fire, fire, get out, get out. I was asleep and I woke up to Nina actually yelling, get out, get out. The six made it out safely, but they still don't know how the fire began. We all were outside and we're like, what do we leave on? Do we leave the stove on? You know, it was a distraction and we're all kind of blaming ourselves for it. It's one of three fires that happened in the downtown area Wednesday morning. But Madison Fire hasn't confirmed whether the incidents are related. And then when we found out that there was multiple within the same hour. It's just, it's just like scary to think that somebody's just yeah. going around doing that for fun or for whatever reason. The juniors who moved in just three weeks ago are unsure of what's next. We have classes, we're all students trying to make it through classes um, as well as just like finding a new place to live because now we are homeless with nowhere. My cancer drugs, $1,800 per month. My hospital bill for a heart attack, $241,544.18. I'm Rebecca Cook. My parents are like a lot of folks hit hard by sky-high medical bills. And with hospital closures, access to care is an even greater challenge. So what does Derek Van Orden say? Destroy Badger Care, gut Medicare, deny women reproductive care. I'll fight for affordable health care. Derek Van Orden won't. And that's why I approve this message. Go get him, honey. Get an 11% rebate on Menard's great selection of automotive products. Good maintenance equals longer vehicle life. And Menard's carries automotive accessories and maintenance products from the most trusted brands to help keep your vehicle on the road. Prevent costly repairs with Shell Rotella T4 Heavy Duty Diesel Motor Oil. It offers triple protection, helping control wear, deposits, and emissions. Get a gallon for $13.99 after rebate. Save big money at Menard's. Everyone deserves the fastest, most reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. That's why Spectrum offers the fastest speeds in more neighborhoods than any other provider. So switch to Spectrum and get a powerful network that connects nearly 500 million devices. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with free modem, no data caps, and no contracts. Plus save with our two-year price guarantee when you level up to a gig. Call 1-855-735-1336 or scan to call. With Spectrum Internet, you can power all of your devices to enjoy streaming, video chatting, and gaming with the most reliable internet speeds. Get a powerful network that millions of customers rely on. I rely on Spectrum Internet. 
you should too. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with 99.9% network reliability, no added taxes or hidden fees, and no contracts. Plus, save with our two-year price guarantee. Call 1-855-735-1336. Call now. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor. Have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. Huge live auctions September 15th. John Deere backhoe, snowmobile, tractor, zero turn mower, home contents, sporty goods, tools, and more. Colonel Renee Brass and St. Louis Auctions. And we end tonight with video just released by Metro Nashville Police Department that shows a woman who climbed over the railing of a bridge and looking down at the water below. At the same time, on the other side of the bridge, the Living on a Prayer singer John Bon Jovi was doing a photo shoot. And seconds into the video, Bon Jovi spots her and walks over with another woman. They talk to her, trying to comfort her and eventually convince the woman to climb back over. And bon Jovi takes her arm and helps lift her over the barrier before giving her a hug. During this, someone on his team called 911 and they all waited with her until the paramedics arrived. Well. John Bon Jovi is a cowboy who is wanted dead or alive, but I can tell that he wanted that girl alive. Yeah, and good you, on him. He's never, a rock star. You never know when there's going to be someone you don't know in a situation no. where you need someone you don't know to really you know, be there for you. And so who knows? Credit the, to him and whoever else helps you know, de escalate yeah, what could for have sure. been a that tragic. Was very, very awesome of him to do. And who knew one of the biggest rock stars of all time could save your life? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, Chase, what are we looking at outside? Well, for tonight, we got those mostly clear skies, and we have a chance at some northern lights tonight. If you can see that fine red line that goes down into northern Illinois, that's the farthest extent we can see those northern lights. What could kind of be a bummer tonight is that wildfire smoke in the way, so it make the colors kind of look more murky, like brown and yellow, but you'll still get a chance to see them. Could be a pretty cool experience if you haven't seen the northern lights yet. Other than that, taking a look at your seven-day forecast, we have a few chances for a few lingering thunderstorms tomorrow, but most likely just some showers in our area. Lingering into Sunday as well, and then throughout the rest of the week, Still hanging around those low 80s, unfortunately for me. I like that fishing weather coming in with temperatures, you know, getting to the 60s and stuff, but looks like it's still going to stay hot out there. Yeah, and I was waiting for a good Northern Lights show, but of course, <laughs> the we got that fire smoke has to ruin We'll still be able to see them, though. I right. think so, so. That's Newswatch 12 for this Thursday night. Thank you so much for being with us, everybody, and have a great night. is working. working. It's working. not. ABC News proved it with charts. It was under control on during inflation. the Trump administration. Well below Gas. $3 a gallon. 35 and housing. In home prices, folks. Even CNN admits it. When it comes to the economy, groceries were less expensive. Housing was more affordable when Donald Trump was president. Yet Harris still says. Bidenomics is working. No, it isn't. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. As summer arrives, so do the opportunities to enjoy warmer weather freely and without worry. Welcome to Bremer and Trollop Law Offices, where the warmth and energy of our team matches the sunshine overhead. Recognized statewide and nationally for our excellence in personal injury law. At Bremer and Trollop, we understand the unique needs of our community, and we're here to fight for you every step of the way. And remember, you pay nothing out of pocket when you work with us, because the right results matter most. What does an opportunity economy look like? Tax cuts for working families. Billionaires and big corporations pay their fair share. It increases stability and security. Gives people a true opportunity to get ahead. It's a very different vision than Donald Trump's. His plans will raise costs and taxes on the vast majority of Americans. We need to be thinking about the future and how we make it better for families like yours. I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. To everyone out there who loves Culver's. The feeling is mutual. Everything's made fresh. Everything. Everything. It's our pleasure. Oh. This is me and my happy place. <laughs> I wouldn't trade our Culver's for any other restaurant. Culver's. Yay! We love our guests. Love. Love. As much as our guests love us. This is me and my happy place. From Wisconsin with love. Love.